Hello everyone, how are you? Hope all of you are well. This class is for all students to use English language. Look at the picture. This person is very confused. Why? He is thinking about English. What he is thinking? British, American, Canadian, Australian, Indian. Which one, which style should he follow? So that is the problem. Today's class is on the styles of English language. Before starting that, we have to understand the world language. What is world language? World language depends on power. What type of power? Political, economical. So the country that is really have political and economical power in the world, then the language of that country become the world language. In that sense, English is a lingua franca. That means a common language used for communication because it is used all over the world for communication. So that's why whichever countries you go to the world, you can use English for communication. It's lingua franca and it is always changeable. That means if a new country come to the superpower of the world and has political and economical power, then the language of that country can be lingua franca. Suppose China or Japan. These two countries, if they come to the political power and economical power in the world, then Chinese and Japanese can be lingua franca. And if maybe one day Bangladesh become the political and economical power in the world, then Bangla become the lingua franca. So that is the status of world language. Standard English, British, American. In the world, these two standards is most prominent. You have to follow either one of the styles, British or American. You cannot blend both of the styles in speaking or writing. For example, pink is my favorite color. Look at the spelling, favorite color. It is British. Pink is my favorite color. Look at the spelling, it is American. Again, pink is my favorite color. Look at the spelling. Favorite is in British style and color is in American style. It is blending. And you are not allowed to blend American and British style in one speaking language, speaking or writing. So, this is not correct. Here is some words that is uh, in difference in spelling between American and English, uh, British English. You can go through the words by yourself. You will found, find that American English almost like that the way we pronounce the word rather than the British English. Here are some more words. In British, O D O U R other. American, O D O R other. Pyjamas in British, P Y J A M A S. American, P A J A M A S. British program, P R O G R A W M E. American program, P R O G R A M. British parlor, P A R L O U R. American parlor, P A R L O R. British apologize, A P O L O G I S E. American Apologize, A-P-O-L-O-G-I-Z-E. Now, come to the vocabulary. British and American English have some different words which have the same meaning. Look at the British English, angry, angry American mad, British autumn, American fall, British boot of a car, American trunk, British chemist, American drugstore, British cupboard, American closet, British flat, American apartment, British lift, American elevator, British nappy, American dapper, British pavement, American sidewalk, British petrol, American gas or gasoline, British rubbish, American trash. Now, today, again, we have some action word that is verb. Last class, we have known about smile, laugh. Today, we will cry. Let's cry. So, first picture is about cry. The second picture is shop. Shop means phupie phupie kada.